You can grow a disembodied human brain from a stem cell and have it operate a robot. I told you guys that the US military had been studying this since at least 2012 and people said they must have had it a decade earlier. And they definitely did. I bring you the very first brain operated robot. This was a robot that was made in 2008 using rat brain organoids. They gave it the ability to operate an autonomous robot. Of course, now we put them in spider drones. Human brains are far more complex than any other kind of brain we know of. So it makes sense if we wanted a really smart robot, we would want to use human brains to do it. And we can indeed combine them with AI. Now we have known that you can immerse disembodied brains in game world for a scary long time, starting in 2001 in the publication database. I don't think brain controlled robots went very far because they just aren't that smart. But it wasn't until AI got really scary good that we had the ability to make them smarter. AI is so, so powerful, but what it lacks is creativity. Having biological AI could bridge that gap. And we know they're good at it. We know they're better at learning than even our best AI models. There are three different ways that we can train the little organoids. We can provide them with reinforcement learning, and that's what they're using for the computation subscription model, where they get a benefit for performing the correct activity, and they get a punishment for not. We can do unsupervised learning, and that's what they've used to teach them language, where they can communicate with AI and they're able to learn just because they're enjoying it, for lack of a better term. They're learning and it makes sense. Then there's the really powerful supervised learning, where we can take what they start to understand and then provide them more of that. And it's directed at what kind of task we want them to do. For the ones that you can presently rent out to do computation, and by the way, I, I want to run them on a large language model so bad, I want to talk to a brain organoid. They have a method of teaching them where when they do the correct task, they get a little jolt of dopamine. In fact, the spikes in their brain activity will activate this little dopamine release mechanism. This is actually a form of addiction. They are addicted to learning to solve our problems for us. This is actually what they look like. And for their model, when they stop giving electrical activity and stop putting output, then they assume that that brain organoid probably is no longer alive. So they can replace them. But fortunately, since they're 16 to a chip, the other ones have still learned to do the task and they can pick up with them. As for the ethical thing to do when they do reach consciousness, some have suggested the same outcome that we could do for AI, humanely terminate them.